Hello, I'm James Reidenauer, Chef Concierge of the Intercontinental Melbourne The Rialto, and I'd like to invite you to take an insider's tour of the world's most livable city. The hotel is located on Collins Street, Australia's most elegant address. Within 100 metres of the hotel, you can discover everything that Melbourne is famous for. The intercontinental Melbourne, the Rialto, mirrors Melbourne in its juxtaposition of contemporary design and classical architecture. This is truly one of the world's most iconic hotels. In the Rialto precinct, you can find some of the finest establishments in hospitality and dining, such as Bonnie Coffee, Merchant, and the internationally renowned fine dining restaurant, Vue du Monde. Vue du Monde is the Australian evolution of silver service, where dining meets theatre. Take a trip over to the State Library of Victoria, one of the first libraries in the world to be open to the general public. The requirement for entry was to be 14 years or older and to have clean hands. Established in 1854, it's home to one of the best book collections in the New World, as well as a selection of magnificent historical mementos, including Ned Kelly's armor, James Audubon's Birds of America, and the Pontifical of Philip de Lévis, a 15th century church service manifest. A micro walk of everything Melbourne has to offer, you could spend a whole day on Flinders Lane and understand what Melbourne's all about. Highlights include Lord Coconut, a maker of peculiar men's accessories, uniquely Melbourne in both its craft and its difficulty to find, and Christine, owned and operated by a local fashion stalwart, emphasizing both art and atmosphere with an air of sophistication. On a laneway, off a laneway, it's eau de vie. There's no sign. This is where you need a world-class concierge to guide you. Akin to the speakeasies of the 1930s, there's over 300 kinds of whiskey, a cocktail degustation, and mixes made for purpose on site, along with liquid nitrogen on tap. This is one of Melbourne's must experiences. Moving out of the city, we visit the inner city microcosms of Fitzroy and Collingwood. The suburb's outer walls are coated with beautiful street art showcasing the local council's devotion for free expression and creativity. The shops here are one of the reasons that I moved to Melbourne. Tarlow and Graham is a unique stockist of all things antique, decorative and peculiar. James Macon, one of Melbourne's most renowned contemporary art galleries, located in an old Collingwood warehouse. Just down the road is south of Johnson. You can experience a dog-friendly space and one of the best breakfasts and coffee the city has to offer. After a long day of exploring, it's time to eat, and St. Crispin is cutting-edge culinary designs with wines to match. We were lucky enough to try Kangaroo. One of my favorite things to do is Microflight's wine, food, and fly tour. It's a 19-minute ride to remember with the best bird's eye views of the city. This unforgettable trip takes you from the Yarra River all the way to the source in the Yarra Valley. Touchdown at Yearing Station, the jewel of the Yarra Valley, attracting tourists and wine enthusiasts from around the globe. Here you'll enjoy contemporary architecture, a private cellar tour, delicious food, and some of the Yarra Valley's most sought after wines. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed my Melbourne experience. I invite you to contact the concierge team to discover yours. So for now, it's farewell from Melbourne.